After what's transpired in the last 24 hours, I have one question for you. What's up? Because the Dudley Boys are back, and it's not just any version of Dudley Boys. This is the old school ECW, going on with the theme of the month, version of the Dudleys. Or the early WWF Attitude Era, if you've been watching it all the way back then. Or you got the WWE Network or Peacock. I seriously recommend you go and check out the Dudleys. They had some of the best tag matches ever. And one of the three teams involved with the creation of what we know now as tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my! So tell me what's up in the comment section down below. I want to know what your favorite tag teams in wrestling, not just WWE. You can go A-Dub, E-C-Dub, W-C-Dub, G-C-Dub, N-X-T, Dub, T-N-A, Dub, this isn't working. I would open the What's Up packs, and these cards are pretty beautiful, but they're nothing really to write home about. And this confuses me, because wouldn't it be better to have this as part of the ECW set? Well, apparently not, because these are a new set of collectibles that have come in, and I've just got to go out there and call out Cat Daddy or WWE Supercard and say, what's up with the 250? collectible events like come on we've gone from like a hundred a hundred and fifty at most to 250 per collectible event and honestly i'm getting a little bit tired of constantly having to collect things like why can't we just have an event where you don't collect things and getting cards is as simple as getting them off the draft board now to their credit i will give them one thing and that is that we do have this beautiful absolutely splendid lover lady known as stacy keebler which is free of charge to get off the draft board no matter what rarity tier level goober you are doesn't matter you've just got to get it off the draft board i spent about ten thousand super coins looking for this card and at 9000 i got stacy keebler i finished off the other 1000 and pulled the other two it's like a dam if you get one it seems to explode and you get loads as i'm about to probe this beautiful absolutely stunning member of the dudley boys oh she's the kind of the member of the dudley boys because she wasn't a boy but she's not a dudley but it doesn't matter she's she's an honorary member manager of the dudley boys this is very similar to the jerry the king lauder special and i imagine this will show up in the daily streets yes daily streets did you know that those are still a thing yeah you can get five collectibles of the dudley boys but actually if you haven't done so already you're gonna miss out because they launched it yesterday without telling anyone in game. But if you go to their website and you follow either me or Supercard News on social media, then you might know. But it's a chance. And I will say this, that Daily Streaks, honestly, have gone from being one of the best things about Supercard as a way to get people onto the website, which we know the reason why. They want people to buy credit and cards off of their website, not in game because they get a bigger cut for those of you who may be fortnite fans this is the same thing that epic games had the issue with with apple and google constantly taking a cut of their profits they want people to come over to their store and buy credits from them because they get a better cut which makes no sense when it's actually cheaper to buy in game listen i don't understand 2k at the best of times this is just but they used to announce these and make these a big thing and they're kind of reliant on the likes of me and other individuals in the community to get the word of mouth out there that these things are available and they're not putting their own time into actually advertising it. So if you think that's stupid and if you think they should really get better daily street rewards up now because we used to have pieces of equipment that were amazing or exclusive cards, then hit that thumbs up. Let's get as many as possible. Maybe it'll entice Cat Daddy to actually announce these things in the future. Plus, it's free and it helps me out as well. We've got this F1 Stacy Keeper to get done though, so let's get her fully leveled up. We'll see how she compares to Jerry the King Lawler. I imagine she's gonna be exactly the same. She's got a couple of pretty nice images on this as well. So we've got the old school, the original Twitch drops. By the way, Cat Daddy, I'm not gonna stop talking about it. If you watch this video, Twitch drops, bring them back. We're three or four minutes in and I've already moaned about three things. This is Supercard, people. Subscribe for more. And yeah, as expected, she's about the same level as Jerry the King Lawler. There's a limit of five of these you can get off of the draft board. You can't get them anywhere else. 
although they may be on next week's daily streak. You may have not noticed that I've also got a few extra friends. Yeah, I've gone a little bit too crazy on the good old fusions. <laughs> just a bit but it was fusion friday and thanks to code breaker i did have over 450 of those gold tokens which i could spend and each one only cost me 250 credits a pop so can you blame me for getting an f3 of sean spears no i don't think you can literally i could have waited the entire tier and had something almost as good as everything i've got at the top apart from those macho men which are just crazy but that brings me to the point of having ridiculously overpowered cards it does look like we are going to be with enigma tier until at least the middle of july and i don't know how to think about that because it's honestly like they've they've treated this tier this rarity like a crucible and tundra at like a hundred miles an hour and then suddenly we're now hitting a big brick wall of everyone's gonna have good cards now now this is a great way actually to get people to catch up on everyone else for summer slam tier but yeah it means that the next couple of weeks is definitely gonna chug along quite slowly and yes i'll admit it i was wrong i made a prediction and i am sorry if i got your hopes up maybe the fusion chamber could forgive me and give me a black davenport or a becky lynch first fusion on video it's our truth it's okay our truth I, i'm up i'm good I'm good. Now, if you just so happen to go to the Supercard website and grab your first AED streak for some kind of telepathic reason, then congratulations, because if you do all five, you get yourself five extra Dudley's collectibles. They're probably being QR codes and other bits and pieces, free packs, but they also available in TLC. Yes, our Lord and Savior, the Supercard Gods have given us TLC once again. Oh, I can't tell you how much I want this to be a perma mode in the game it's just so much fun honestly i think this is akin to locking survivor behind a limited time mode just don't get any ideas supercard i'm just saying alternatively you can get lucky with your free go of table flip and i'd love to have some examples of what you guys get from this because i have seen some crazy odds coming from this mode in fact if you're lucky enough to get the the average that people get when they play this game mode 36 to 43 flips you've got more than double the chance of the what's up packs and that is kind of mad and the first go is free so we'll knock yourselves out let's see what we can get from our table flip though this is the bit where i've got to be like super concentration oh we've actually got new people in this okay that's gonna mess up my mind a little bit dakota kai and damian priest Damien Priest is right next to it. Let's go, baby. So we just have Dakota Kai at the top, AJ Styles, and Liv Morgan. Nia Jax. Okay, so Liv Morgan is here. Come here, baby. She's really playing some crazy mind games on Raw, by the way. And what about the Wyatt Six? Sorry, Nikki Cross just looks terrifying. Sonya Deville and Roxanne Perez. Apparently, Drew's quit. Uh, I don't actually believe he's quit, quit. I quit. Maybe CM Punk comes out on SmackDown and is like, oh, I'm okay, because I don't know. Drew's quit and Drew comes out and absolutely destroys him. It's gonna happen. So far, I'm actually doing pretty good with this. Well, I'm not gonna get my 44 flips because that's a 30%. In fact, I, I don't actually think it's possible personally, but I am gonna get 38, which is decent enough. Dakota Kai to finish it off and let's see what's in our free table flip rewards. I can only hope that it's something good. It's a top pack or second top pack. It's coming out of haste. Yo, yeah, we got an Enigma card. Let's go, baby. Six Dudley Vision collectibles. I didn't know you could get those from these packs. Packs. And Devon Dudley. Baba, the wrong person, but get the tables. I really dig the design. I need to see what the pros look like. I do, however, feel that they could have put the Dudleys in a newer tier, considering how quickly they've gone through this one. You can also buy the Dudley Vision classes, which is, you know, it's cool. But if you are thinking, hey, JB, you keep talking about bad things. Can you shush, shush, please? I mean, Chad Gable got permanently shushed, it looks like, by the Wyatt Six. Yikes. It was tomato ketchup, ladies and gentlemen. He clearly was just having a bacon butty and had an accident. It, it's okay. Remember, it's PG. We're just going to forget about the Cody Rock incident, okay? Well, then, in which case, this is incredible. And thankfully, we're actually getting a shush render 
of Chad Gable to celebrate this part of his career before his untimely murder on Raw. Talking about LMS, I'd love to know what you ranked in the comments down below. And make sure you hit that big subscribe button as we get to number 206 in the world. He's going to be a relatively good powered card no doubt in my mind at all he's probably going to be better than the cm punk i just got so that's going to make me a little bit of a sad panda but until like two days ago i wasn't really going to go hard for it so well that's what happens hey it's johnny toilet get out of here and like i need to use the shush let me see i hope that the shush looks perfect i mean sorry he did have a shush already but you had to have an event card and i completely forgot that he had this render i How did I forget that this existed? It was certainly a thing, wasn't it? That Valentine's event was really weird. Now, this isn't the first time that D1 Dudley has been in Supercard, but if you'd had to be really, really lucky to grab yourself the Survivor cards, I imagine they'll show up in some kind of 1 to 10 pack or so, but they've only ever had the, let's say, current day PG era cards and that terrible WrestleMania card. I personally am a big fan of Survivor tier, so I'll probably stick with a Survivor tier image, even if the ECW, Devon and Bubba really do butter the bread for me. I just like the old school ECW stuff. Don't shoot me. I mean, no, no, you, you no, could, no, no, no. it would hurt a lot. Let's see what stats, I mean, it looks good. He's not as good as Punk, although Punk is in momentum. So maybe when I put him in momentum, it makes a bigger difference. Sorry, Fairy Tunk. It's nothing personal. Just business. See, I think Punk still clears him. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Well, in which case, decision made. Ladies and gentlemen, Fairy Tunk is back in, baby. Let's go. Everyone clap for Fairy Tunk. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to see more videos just like this, go to this one just up here. I'll go along to this one at the bottom if you want to see some more 2K action. Be prepared. We've got some videos for that coming up on the channel, which combine Supercard and 2K, which is pretty exciting. Anyway, peace out.